Would you love to learn how to find the area of unshaded portions? Then stay tuned because that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you. Do endeavor to stick to the end of the video because I'm going to be showing the easiest and simplest way to do so. I'm also going to be showing you a second method which you can use to solve it. Without further ado, let's start learning. Welcome to class. In finding the area of the unshaded region, here's what we need to note. We need to be able to identify the shaded region. Obviously, this is the shaded region. Okay, this part is the shaded region. Then we need to identify the area of the unshaded region. Obviously, the plain space where we have no marks is the unshaded region. And then we need to understand the area of the whole region. Now, when you're talking about the whole region, it refers to the area of the whole shape, okay? The entire shape from here to here, okay? That is the area of the whole region. So how do we go about finding the area of the unshaded region? We are going to say area of shaded region, okay? Plus the area of unshaded region is equals to the area of the whole region. Now we've gotten this, let's go ahead and find the area of shaded region. Now in finding the area of the shaded region, we need to know the value of this place from here to here, and we need to know from here to here, okay? So that's the first thing we do, we need to find them. So for us to find the value of here to here, here's what we are going to do. Now, take a, take a look at the entire length. We know from here to here is 15 centimeter. And then we know from here to here is five centimeter. Remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So by the time you extend this, okay, you're going to have a rectangle. You're going to have a rectangle. So if here is 15 centimeter, here is supposed to be 15 centimeter. Now let the unknown be B, this place to this place, okay? Let's call it B. Since opposite lengths are equal, we are going to equate this place, okay, to this place. So we are going to have 5 centimeter plus B equals to 15 centimeter. B will be equals to 15 centimeter minus 5 centimeter. B is going to be equals to 10 centimeter. So we have been able to find here. So that means from this point to this point is 10 centimeter. Now let's check if we are correct. By the time you say 5 plus 10, you have the entire length of here to here, which is 15 centimeter. So now, now we found here to be 10 centimeter. How do we go about finding this point? Now, if we take a look at this question, we are going to observe something. The entire length from here to here is 20 centimeter. Now, if this entire length is 20 centimeter, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. That means from this point to this point ought to add up to give us 20 centimeter. But we are given just here and here. So how do we find here? Let us have this place as C, okay? Let it be C. So we are going to equate this to this. In doing that, we're going to have four centimeter plus C plus four centimeter equals to 20 centimeter. Remember, here is equals to here. So we are going to have, when you say four centimeter plus four centimeter, you have eight centimeter plus C equals to 20 centimeter. Now that we've gotten this, we are going to have C is equals to 20 centimeter. Now this eight centimeter crosses the equality sign. It becomes negative. It becomes minus eight centimeter. 
t is equals to 12 centimeters so we've been able to get b and c now we are we've gotten b and c we can now solve for the area of this unshaded portion okay so let the entire unshaded portion be referred to as f so we are going to have f is equals to 10 centimeter f is equals to b times c okay so we're going to have f is equals to what's the value of b we have 10 centimeter times how about c 12 centimeter by the time you multiply it you're going to have 120 centimeter square so now we've succeeded in finding the area of the shaded portion let's go ahead in finding the area of the whole region so in finding the area of the whole region is already given we have 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter so the area of whole region will be equal to 20 centimeter times 15 centimeter that's going to give us 300 centimeter square now we've done this it becomes easy to solve for the unshaded region remember area of unshaded region plus area of shaded region equals to the area of whole region so now what do we have area of the shaded region is 120 centimeter square why the area of the whole region is 300 centimeter square now the area of the unshaded is what we are looking for so let's let it be e okay so with the next thing we are going to do we are going to say e is equals to 300 centimeter square minus 120 centimeter square e is equal to 180 centimeter square so this is the answer so this is the value of the unshaded region you can see it's very easy let's take more examples for clarity how do we go about handling this question now in this very example i'm going to be showing you two methods let me start with the first method which I used in the previous example. As we know, we have the area of unshaded region plus area of shaded region is equal to the area of the whole region. Let the unshaded region be A let the shaded region be b and the area of the whole region be c now we've done this let's solve for the area of the shaded region here is our shaded region now if you take a look at this shaded region we are not given the length the value of the length or the breadth so what we need to do we first of all have to find the value of the length and the breadth then we can now go ahead in finding the area now here's what we do for us to find here let's look at this other side okay we know that the entire length from here to here is eight centimeter and we know that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal so so what that means if here is eight centimeter here's supposed to be eight centimeter here too so here's what we are going to do for us to find this place, we are simply going to say, let here be F, okay? Let here be F. And then we are going to equate 8 centimeter to the sum of this. In doing that, we are going to have 8 centimeter equals to 4 centimeter plus F. Collecting like terms, we have 8 centimeter. Now, this crosses over to the left-hand side. It becomes negative. 
we have minus 4 centimeter equals to f. Remember, whenever a number crosses the equality sign, it's going to change. If it was positive, it's going to be negative. So this is exactly what happened here. So we are going to have 8 centimeter minus 4 centimeter. We have 4 centimeter equals to f. So f is equals to 4 centimeter. So now we've been able to find the value of here, 4 centimeter. Now if you sum this up, you're going to see that we're going to have exactly what we have here. So 4 centimeter plus 4 centimeter gives us 8 centimeter. That means we are on track. So the next thing we are going to do, since we found here, let's find this point, okay? Let's find this other length. Now let's call this G, okay? Let this place be G. Now if you take a look at this shape, you're going to notice the entire length from here to here is 12 centimeter. And opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So that means from here to here is equally 12 centimeter. G is that number that we are going to add to 8 centimeter to get 12 centimeter. So here is what we are going to do. Let's simply equate them. In equating them, we are going to have 12 centimeter is equal to 8 centimeter plus G. Okay. So we are going to have 12 centimeter minus 8 centimeter equals to G. So this minus this, we have 4 centimeter equals to G. So that means the value of G is 4 centimeter. So we equally have 4 centimeter here. So the area of the shaded region will be F times G, which is equal to 4 centimeter times 4 centimeter it gives us 16 centimeter square. Now that we found this, let's go ahead in finding the entire region. The area of the entire region is simple, length times breadth. So we are going to have 12 centimeter times 8 centimeter gives us 96 centimeter square. So this is the area of the entire region. So now that we've gotten the, find the area of the shader region and the whole region it becomes easy to find the area of the unshaded region remember we have area of unshaded region plus area of shader region equals to area of whole region okay now What's the value of our whole region? What did we get as the whole region? We got 96 centimeter square. Okay, what about the area of the shaded region? The area of the shaded region is 16 centimeter square plus the unshaded region. So A. So what we simply do is say A is equal to 96 centimeter minus 16 centimeter okay so a is equal to 80 centimeter so the, the area of the unshaded region is 80 centimeter are you still watching if you're still watching that means you're getting value hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up now let's look at the second method to solve this the second method to solve this is to bring out the unshaded portion okay bring it out from the entire shape now we've done this the next thing we are going to do we are going to divide this shape if you take a look at it you know it's an irregular shape so let's divide it so we can get two regular shapes this is going to make our work easy so if you take a look at it now you're going to see that we have a horizontal rectangle let's call that a and we equally have a smaller horizontal rectangle let's call this b so in using this method what we are going to do we are going to find area of a and then we find the area of b and then we sum it up so here's what we are going to do area of a 
is equal to 12 centimeter times 4 centimeter. That gives us 48 centimeter square. Then area of B is going to be equal to, now we know that here is 8 centimeter. So that means this place is equally going to be 8 centimeter. All right. And then we are not giving this place. We need to find here. So we know that the entire length from here to here is 8 centimeter. So let's extend this. Okay. By extension here, we are going to have a rectangle. So if here is 8 centimeter, what do we add to 4 to get 8 centimeter? We simply add what 4. So the value of this place becomes 4. And if this place is 4, remember opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So this place is equally going to be 4. So we can now go ahead and find the area of B. So the area of B is going to be 4 centimeter times 8 centimeter. That's going to give us 32 centimeter square. So to find the area of this entire unshaded part, what we simply do is we add the area of A to the area of B. So that will be 48 centimeter square plus 32 centimeter square. This centimeter square. And then you're going to have 4 plus 3, you have 7 plus 1, you have 80 centimeter square, giving us the exact answer we had in the previous question. So you can use any of the methods, you're going to arrive at the same answer. How about something like this? In this question, let's identify the unshaded region. We have this as the unshaded region, and we have this as the unshaded region. In this question, using the second method will be easier and will work perfect. Let's go ahead and bring out the unshaded portions, okay? This is A, let's call this A, and let's call this B, okay? So the area of A is equal to 3 cm times 2 cm. That's going to give us 6 cm squared. How about that of B? Area of B is equals to, now what's the length of this? We have 6 cm and then the breadth is 4 cm. So we have 6 cm times 4 cm. That's going to give us 24 cm squared. So now that we've gotten the areas of A and B, remember they are the unshaded portions. So for us to find the area of the unshaded portion, let's sum it up. So we are going to have area of A plus area of B. Now, when we do that, we are going to have 6 cm plus 24 cm is going to give us 30 cm squared. Actually, if you use the first method, it's still going to work but it's going to be stressful because you need to find the area of the whole shape and then the area of the shaded region and you take a look at this very question you will notice that the, the shaded region is an unregular shape it's not a regular shape but if you take a look at our previous example we have saw you will notice that the shaded portion is a regular shape so whenever you have the shaded portion as a regular shape it's very convenient to use the first method. So this is it on the simplest way to find the area of shaded portions. If you got value from this video, give me a thumbs up. Would you love to get more videos like this? Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so that you can get notified whenever I upload educative videos like this. And don't you forget, math can be easy. I love to see in the next video. Thanks for watching.